challenge or CAC encourages kids to learn how to code through the annual district wide competitions and from the second congressional district representative French Hill hosted one here for his district the second year in a row and we are joined here with this year's winner and Lee from Central High School congratulations and who's a sophomore and winning this at uh, I guess 15 or 16 years old. 15. 15 years old. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the, the, the program and, uh, and Congressman, why the program, you know, it's, a, it's a new program, just like a few years old, but why did Congress start this program? Well, for 30 years, the Congress has had an art contest around the country for high school students. Very successful, very appreciated. So I think the House made a great decision to get with the, uh, the new world and have an <laughs> app challenge. We've done analog, let's do digital, mm -hmm. and have an app challenge across all the congressional districts to encourage coding, to encourage engagement in the digital world. Yeah, I understand when it started, they did like a beta test in Virginia, and it did really well, and so many congressmen are holding it in their own district right. now. And you did it your second time. Uh, about how many applicants did you have across the district? We had just over 30 applicants. It's grown both years. As you said, it's a new program. Mm -hmm. uh, the contest is every November, and so we encourage science teachers and app and programming and coding teachers around the state to contact their congressional office and get their kids involved. Now, Ann, last summer, you basically spent the summer working on this app and building yeah. this app. I'm sure you probably had some betas and fixed some bugs along the way before you submitted it. Tell us about your app. Uh, what, first, what is it called and, and what it does? Uh, it's called Car Check. So it starts by loading the temperature at the user's location as well as the user's speed. And once certain temperature and speed conditions are met, it'll send a notification to the user. So essentially when it thinks that the user has parked the car, and users can also specify certain days or times to have the app send a notification. Um, and they can also have it repeat. So for example, daily or weekly. Uh, in the settings, users can change the temperature and speed units as well as the various mm -hmm. permissions that are granted to the app, like location services. So this is the, the, it's the check, basically to check also see what's in your car, make yeah. sure you, you check the back seat, what do you think? Because it's knowing yeah. when you're driving around. Now, what I wonder if parents may want to use this to know when the, their student is leaving school. Then they want to <laughs> install this on their own, their own student's phone. But it's a really good idea. Now, Congressman, why did y'all really select this one over? Was it just the, maybe the, the necessity of this kind of an app? Well, I think one of the biggest tragedies that we've had are kids that are in a car that's too hot. We hear that kind of tragedy. And this is exactly tackling mm -hmm. uh, a social challenge and something that's really helpful to parents and families. And so I really commend Ann for seeing that social challenge and finding an app is a clever way to increase public safety. Real creative too. Good, good job, yeah. Ann. Thank you. Uh, let me tell you, how can students for like next year? How can they get involved if they want to do this? Sure, I'd, I'd contact, I'd invite people to contact our office at hill.house.gov, and sign teachers and kids who are enjoying coding. And this is a great way, I think, to embrace Governor Hutchison's effort at yeah. encouraging coding around our high schools. All right, someday she's going to have an app for everything for us. <laughs> exactly. Watch out for Ann Lee.